All right, now we're doing 8Q, calculate price excluding VAT. This is by Payer KS, excuse me, CSE, and 89% uh, of the people like it. We're going to write a function that calculates the original product price without VAT, okay? If the product price is $200 and VAT is 15%, then the final product with VAT is 200 plus 15%, which is $230. Uh, thus, the function receives this as an input and re should return this, okay? Uh, the VAT is always 15%, round the results to two decimal places, and null, with, if null is given, it's going to be negative one. All right, so based on this, just because of the rounding, we're going to need to have some uh, two fixed right there. And we're also going to need to have some uh, unary plus right there. All right. And uh, the two fix is how we're going to round it. You just put two fix, you put dot two fixed uh, after something like right here, parse float x dot two fixed. Uh, it'll just round it to whatever, to two, if we put two in there. Okay. So two fixed and then inside the parentheses, the number of digits. The thing is, the returning value always returns a string, okay? So that's why we need this unary plus operator. And uh, if you have one of these preceding the operand, it will evaluate uh, to the operand, but attempts to convert it to a number. And that's the thing we're trying to get here is converting it to a number from a string, okay? So this one's pretty cut and dry as long as you know how tax works. Uh, and how to calculate it real quickly. So let's just get it right into it. All right, so we're just going to say price divided by 1.15 because if it's the price times 1.15, that's that will always get this. And so therefore, you just got to divide it by 1.15 and you'll get the original price. But like I said, we need to make this... Uh, we need to make this have two decimal places. So we have the two fixed right there, two decimal places. And we put the unary plus right here to convert the string, which will, this turns into a string. This turns it back into a number. Let's see if that works. All right, cool. And attempt it. Oh, yeah. What's up with that? You know what's up with that? forgot to care about this null so also we got to say if price is null then give us a negative one otherwise do this let's see what happens test it's good attempt it's good great all right submit it very much pleased with this one my solutions, just the two of us, best practice in my opinion, and we'll see you next time.